Hello everyone, B-Phone 4 and Son of Beast here, and this time, it's about to go down. We are now in the conference finals for the championship game in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Now, this is where it gets things interested. If you're ready, it's that time, folks. One of the teams will be heading into the finals and win the whole thing. One team for Western Conference and one team for the Eastern Conference. It's coming up next, after this. Let's bring it on! Brown now, relatively late in the shot clock, spins, floats it up and floats it in. Boy, the Cavs bench is vehemently claiming that that was a walk. We've never seen them since playing back in 2018. Floor, and that's where they get so many threes. Oh, what a highlight! Man, give it up to Robert Williams. What a pass by Horford. He's breaking that down, looking at a fading shot clock. As Garland knocks in the three. Man, he's hot hands. Got a good set feet. Good shot. He'll zigzag his way halfway down the lane. His floater is true. Mitchell now has 34 and is back to a one-point game. Toward Brown, wheels his way down the lane, floats it up, and floats it in. DM, and the crowd goes wild. That's what they do. Donovan Mitchell, what a finish. With it, up ahead to Tatum, to the rim. Smart to see him make the steal. Back to Brown. Whoa, Jalen Brown, you can do that? Yes, he does. What a finish. Tatum, step back three. You bet. Jason Tatum, a superstar player. Crowd while favored for the Tatum and Horford, the better veteran teams. They all loved it and they enjoyed it. Lucky luck. Mitchell on the attack, soft tosses it in. If you've never seen this finish, well, that's the biggest part of a drive you ever see. Bring of the game in Boston five nights ago. Mitchell to the basket, draws a foul, puts it up and in, a circuit shot by Donovan Mitchell, and he has a chance for the three-point play. That's what they all do. Donovan Mitchell, a biggest drive effort. Yeah, I've got good eyes on him. They always say, count it and one. That's for him. Cavs, Celtics, next on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and welcome to another Eastern Conference Finals. We are in Game 4, as at this point, we are about to be seeing the rematch in between the Celtics and the Cavaliers. Now this is what we are all counting on. If you never heard of what's going to happen here for Boston Celtics, they've already got one in part of Game 5 against the Heat. But I don't know what will this happen here for Game 4, if there is another way to make that when they win. Well, there might be one way if they could try to, like, move it on. Because the Boston Celtics really wanted it all. And as you may have already noticed, they just did a lot of resource. They keep an eye on the run. But the progress is, is possible. There's one way that we are trying to find out if there's another win for Cleveland Cavaliers. Will they have a chance to make it back? Or will the Celtics extend up a 3-1 series of the game before pushing their way into the finals. Well, there might be one way they can try to like save it all, and that is the progress they are going to try to keep it up. So now it's time to send you down to the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. I will have the next commentary up Paintbrush with Ball Round Pen and Silver Spoon. We'll see you all later for the halftime show and post game show after this. Let's get started. All you guys. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. As they're approaching down in the locker room, here we have across our Chandler Brown and Jason Tatum. The two men in the center of the position and ready to get going for game four.
Happy Pride Month, everyone! Paintbrush here, along with Fall Round Pen and OJ. This is the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Standing by, we have us David Aldridge. Hey, Dave! Hello, guys. The Cavaliers are now a factor in the East. Jared Allen says, we want people to know they're going to have a fight on their hands. Over the past few years, it's been like, oh, it's the Cavs, it's an off night. But now we want people to look at us and say, we need to bring our A game. Kevin, consider that mission accomplished. Always a good accomplished ride. Right? You don't know how to do it. Thank you, David. As we get closer to the NBA Finals of 2K23, we got a great matchup in between Jalen Brown and Donovan Mitchell. When you call for Jalen Brown, this was all that happened to here before. And I guess there is one way that we can try to like reduce it from the health. And the issue is, it's not what everybody does. They really are standing in shock. Yeah, I've got eyes on Donovan Mitchell for sure, because they were really telling him that he was the biggest guy ever played with the other team, and they never noticed how they were going to get. Played back in Louisville of Kentucky, that was one way that he has ever done it before. So as to be now, I'm hoping there's another way they can try to keep it right from here, from the matchup to do it again. From Tatum on University of Duke and Mitchell of Louisville. Here the Carissi lineups has being started, all filled up, and we are ready to go. Here the Carissi lineup being as followed as the matchup is being uh, as followed. Tatum is on Isaac Okoro, and it's Garland on Marcus Smart. Jalen Brown is coming up here on Donovan Mitchell. Robert Williams is on Jared Allen, and finally, Horford on Evan Mobley. Two player in between for Donovan Mitchell and for Jalen and for Jason Tatum. There's a lot of a two range out there. Whenever you call that, the layup scoops it in, you make the finish. And that was your mobile one drive for Jared Allen. The Cleveland Cavs are making a rock on the run. I know that Jared Allen does that happen sometimes, but you can't just really say that everybody gets over this one. Warford with the ball. Seven on the shot clock. Around Mobley, and he's fouled as the first foul's been called on Evan Mobley. That's his first personal foul, first team foul on Cleveland. Al Horford at the free ball line shooting two. He's open in the range, but he got it with his hand with the removement. They really can't just let it go out down with the flock. I know when Al Horford used to get this thing done, it didn't really happen like that. So it didn't come toward it, and then when you go about with a rebounding and this effort, you can't just really say that Al Horford's one of the main men. He's always the he's always the legendary. hits the first free throw. And for most of our Reddit dedications here, he's also a Dominican professional basketball player. He was the highest paid for the Latin American, but at some times, however, he was one of the main mans here for Puerto Plata before coming to America. While the Dominican Republic is one of the biggest things in all the cross the road, you can definitely say, to be honest, on that occasion, they, I always say Al Booker is one of the biggest men you've ever, was ever been playing in since he was down here for the first part of the highest paid ever yet. But, be, but you, because you know, it definitely does happen to be one of the sometimes for the reason here. And everyone really calls for him. And then his college info, he played with the Florida Gators. That's the part of it at this college team that he's ever been playing here before he was drafted with the Atlanta Hawks. You're smart. You'll just it up in the air across here on the other side. Now back to Horford. Now back to Jason Tatum. Trying to move around on Isaac Okoro. Who again, to smart. Around Garland. The drive went off target. Allen has a second rebound and Garland back the other way. Okoro up and he's fouled. Jason Tatum receives a skirt and that'll be their first team foul for Boston. Very too hard to give that one to run. Jason Tatum has already been messing up at the line. But you can't just say that Isaac Okoro is wanting to give that one to a run. Yeah, that really tough one out there. Good pass by Darius Harlan, but he was a little bit wound up. He went and tumbled down already. Isaac Okoro at the free throw line, shooting two, and they're adding for the, for the Cavalier, Cavaliers for adding a free throw percentage for the first period. Okoro hits the first free throw. From University of Auburn, Isaac Okoro is one of the main men that was ever been out 
and be excited for to be with the team. After he was drafted here in 2020, it was the one way that he start for his season for 2020 to 21 season. How did it really turn out with you guys? Well, this Isaac Crow, and you can't just really say that he was really the biggest man. Everyone does happen to say that Isaac Crow is one of the biggest players that has ever been playing here for the college team. He all knows, whenever you get the right done, you just really got to enjoy yourself. Everyone counts for him, not for one. Jalen Brown, good move on the layup drive, and he has that sec first bucket. That's what you call that Jalen Brown, the finish for the jaw. Garland passes to Okoro. And rejected by Robert Williams. All on the sluice. And it's a great rebound for Jason Tatum. Now he gets off to Marcus Smart. Here comes Williams. And makes a one-hand dump down. Great pass here. And right now, they're up by four. Well, there's nobody you can call that. Marcus Smart giving a good feed off. That's what everybody does. First timeout call by Cleveland with 3.25 to go. They still have a lot of time to get right into this. And just the attention all viewers on Animation Epic. We have a final episode here to give that one a release here before we start for the Saving Media Center at LA, California, for the first head to start up for the BFDI and Anime Excited Experience. That will be happening here on June 25th on Sunday. So if you have your tickets now, then get ready to reach your creators. And for next month, on July, it'll be at Gerald W. Lynch Theater. If you have your tickets, I'll see you on the other side in the East Coast. That'll be the next one on July 8th. So enjoy your show and meet one of your most of the one players that you can never go wrong with. Oh yeah, I'd really love to see that. After the final episode here for the 2022-23 season, I think it's going to be a blast to have this event. Now for Joe Mazzula, he has his fourth coach of the season. He never really wants to get in touch here from after Brad Stevens. So it didn't really help us out. So what they really wanted to do is they wanted to help him out and get better at it. They've got a lot of help and try to pick it up the pace. They've really got to enjoy that one. The most confidence over Bickerstaff. Yeah, it's really that tough now. And you can't just really say that Joe Mazzula is one of the newest head coach. They're really all over this right now because everyone really knows him. For sure, however, they really wanted to get that done. Hopefully, they'll try to keep it on going. Here's a Coro back to Garland on the outside. And now with just only 3.15 to go. Mitchell covered up by Brown. Just six on the shot clock. Garland for two. That's good. He makes that with a two-point bucket score. They're down by two. Keep that open shot because no one really counts for that. Smart finds Al Horford. In a try. That off the rebound puts up on Jared Allen. Got a good defense and now here's Mitchell for the three. Splash down, no good. Now Horford off to Smart. Gives it to Horford. Fades a shot. Back pass with a, with a good motion and going to Smart. Tatum outside for the three. Good range. He has his first three-pointer. He has five and they're up by and they're up by five. Mitchell trying to give it across again to Isaac Okoro. Okoro on Tatum. Pass to Mitchell. Gets the finish. A good pass here. He has his first assist for Isaac Okoro and Mitchell adding another two-point bucket run. Just only two minutes to go in the first period of the game. It's 11 and 8 run. Brown back to Horford. Finds Tatum inside and good. Al Horford got a good pass here and Jason Tatum has seven. Yeah, you can't just get rid of Jason Tatum. He's one of a man and he's all man down. He's all way right now. The dead man can never hear you. Great jerky! Good shot by Jared Allen. Two blocks for Robert Williams, and now they're down by three. Tatum gives the pass over to Horford. Over again to Tatum. Tatum trying to find an open look. The bounce pass to Williams. Moves again to Tatum. Now over again to Brown. Brown with a two around Tatum. Mitchell is good. Jalen Brown has the second bucket of the night. 
Just a five run lead for Boston. Here's Garland. He passes over again across here by Isaac Okoa. Pass it inside to Mitchell. Ball loose and Tatum deflects it. Now Smart back to Tatum and now over again to Horper. Moving across alone, Smart on the outside for three. He gets it to go. He has his first bucket for three. And Al Horford with the assist. That's a strong communication here because then Marcus Smart really got that one off. He blocked the pass but still holds on. Okoro on Tatum. Pass again. And it's stolen by Smart. Here's Brown and Tatum to the finish. And he will lay it up and in. Tatum has nine. And a Smart with the assist. That's what everybody calls for. Great communication to keep the lockdown defenseman. He's got a great use of it. Here passes over to Mobley. And free for Garland. Off the mark, and it's now rebounded by Robert Williams. Just about 15 seconds, as Smart will try to leave it out with his own. 10 seconds to go. Brown, outside by Brown, by Mitchell. Tatum trying to look for the buzz beater. Over Isaac. And it rolls in and out. So that ends the first quarter. Boston on a good run, lead by 10. We'll get the second, sorry, second quarter, as right now it's a 20 to 10 lead. We don't want to lose this one here, and don't be mindful if you can get that win. We'll be right back after this break. You're watching the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Just tuning in for the second period, we got a start for the second quarter. A 20 to 10 score. Boston is one of the biggest teams here that already won many title awards of the finals. They really are showing up with a lot of support. Yeah, they always do. They really say the great player that we all call for, Larry Bird. I know everybody counts for that, but you may not be showing it what's going on. They really are starting to get over this. But you can't just really say everybody wants to count for it. Everybody's all over the line, and they really want to get that quick and far. A foul has been called here. Derek White, I never know how this happened. The first free throw coming up for Karis LeVert. And he's at the free throw line shooting two. Also with the new substitution uh, made, as Derek White's on the court. He's along with him when McCall Brogdon. Grant Williams is also with him. Danny Green also run with Devin Wade. And across on the other side of it, we do have a number one to keep that one up here for another eye on the pride. And you all know, it's all respect to make that one countable. They are nothing but they want to get. And they are always definitely notice that you can count on Ricky Rubio. And he's also along with City Osman. Now I know that Curtis LeVert had played with Indiana. But this one, well, it was nothing but I really wanted to say. It's going to be very that tough. Everybody's out there, and I get it's not really tough enough that everybody gets it right way. Well, they're really that tough. And you know, this wasn't the only thing that ever happened before. They get a lot of it, but I guess there isn't anybody else there that could try to keep up with the run. And he's also with Mike Muscala, too. Now, he always made that one good. I want to say that Carousel Burke, you got to give credits to that guy. After playing with Indiana Pacers, he wants to go to Cleveland. He didn't really like it here, so he wants to make a new contract here to give it off the run. And to Benz and Sabonis, well, he's gone now. They want the Kings to get back to the run. Wow, the foul has been called. It would have been rejected here on Karis Burke, but he got caught with the foul. Not so good out there. Marcus Smart really would have had that one call here. He said, There's the, where's the foul? And he knew it. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of hard uh, position that everybody has to count for. Shooting two for Marcus Smart at the free throw line with 5.32 to go, a 20 to 12 score. It's the first free throw for Marcus Smart. And with the Oklahoma State from here for the team, he was able to do one of his own work. The routine of it really calls it a smart move. How do you think that Marcus Smart did it here for this season, guys? Well, they're topping up now. Marcus Smart really has a lot of the advancement 
to try to keep up their scores. But when you call it out when you're for the 2014 draft, they really say that Marcus Smart is like an ion prime. Every time they really get there, they wanted to have it all in doubtful mind. They're doing really well to keep over the run. That giant is very damn important. And Ricky Rubio will finish the left hand drive. Finally has his first bucket down. Yeah, Ricky Rubio, ever say you can't get rid of him. Great recovery here and good replay for the mobile one try of Ricky Rubio. White passes to Mike Muscala. Now just a pass. Now back to Smart with 505 remaining. Now finds Smart. White back again to Williams. Fade the shot, finds Mike Muscala around Deadman and good. Grant Williams has his first assist. And Mike Muscala with the first bucket. That's a better of that one. The communication is really not obvious. But you may never know how it gets there in the first place. Mike Muscala really does that one for all. Three for three. Good! He had that one in the range. And Danny Green has his first three-pointer. Smart back again to Williams. Williams finds again to Smart. Derek White. Off for the three. Misses it. And Ricky Rubio gets the first rebound to pick up the great game. Osmond! Oh my goodness! That Osmond put up a drive out there. You're nothing but you want to get Osmond a well run. They all say it is a tough one. It's a land. Now Hauser deflected and stolen by Karis LeBert. Danny Green finding a run. Danny Ark. Oh what? We checks the shot and says, not this time. Also gives it back over to White. Now White will give it back to Marcus Smart. Needs to make another smart move on offense. They really need to get this one that far. Grant Williams for the two. Rolls in and out. And LeVert will try to handle it here. Carlin, three for three. Go! It's down by one. Here's Smart. He gives it back over to White. Try to move it across here to Smart. Again to Hauser. Hauser swinging down to Smart. Now finds White. White losing again to Smart. Now finds Hauser. Hauser looking it back into Smart. Down to three. Three for White. And that's off the mark. Wade has another rebound here. Got it off to Osman. On a fast break run, looking to tie it with the two. It's holding by Mike Muscala. He has a second rebound of the game, and now will hand it off to White. Up at the two, good shot, corner angle, and Osman didn't get enough to get over it. As right now, a rebound puts up for Hauser, got a good pass. Timeout call by Cleveland with only 2.43 to go. The NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by... Adidas. Ruffles, the official trap ship of the NBA. And by State Farm. Call your free card now at 1 800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We're nearing the end of the first half, but coming up for the halftime report, I will have his meat bone and set of piece. It'll be along here for the 2K Sports to check out the first half of the recap. Now, you may never notice how well it's going to get there, but every time you get that often, you really want to make sure that everyone does happen the same. As for Joe Mazzulla, he's also one of the basketball coaches here after playing with the after played with the college basketball for the West Virginia University, he didn't really want to take advantage of him. So he did want to give that one a coach off back again with another team. And right now, his 2011 was undrafted. He now wants to do his coaching instead of doing the play to get on the court. They really say that Joe Mazzula really has it the best. But they may never say, why in the world would you want to play basketball? Well, it's not most of a kind. I don't think Joe Mazzullo happens to never play with this. They don't really care about it because his, his contract sign has been denied. They really just don't really want to get him on here. All they say now, you can't just get rid of him. 
Yeah, and, and everybody says right now, Joe Mazzula, you may have to just get a replacement. Last touch on Darius Garland, and it's Celtics ball. As of right now, the new changes is being occurred. Now Isaac Okoro is checked in for Karis LeVert. Check out one more block for Robert Williams. The other side of it is a downward deny. That terrifying is giving me a hard moment out there. I never noticed how this was going to keep on living. But I say Robert Williams, he got a great deflection. What a great run. Here's Robert Williams. He gives it over again to Hal Horford. Now Pritchard on the outside on, on Darius Garland. Don't have the right moment to take the screen, but he wants to give it back again to Jalen Brown. Shoots over Okoro, and good too. Got a good feet set up. His third bucket of the night, and it, it's a 27-22 lead. The Cavs trail by five. Mitchell recovered up here on McCall Brockett. Keeping up on the outside of the range. Moving a little dribble move, helping the screen out for Jared Allen. Around McCall. Nice D here as McCall Brogdon has its first rebound. Al Warford swing off to Pritchard. Rebound it. Now McCall Brogdon back to Pritchard. Still have a lot of room to get over this and McCall Brogdon. Around Allen. The finish drive can't make the flow and connection work. Well, this offense is really putting up a struggle. The motion may not be anybody. There is Garland finds Isaac the core and now finds Mitchell. Just one minute to go in the first half of the period. Now back again to Isaac Okura. Rogan on the cover, five on the shot clock. With the finish, holding it off, rebound, and foul on Peyton Pritchard. That's his first personal foul, and their team foul releases on Boston. We're under one minute to go, and right now Isaac Okura will get the chance to hit the free throw line for two. They never saw that one coming because Isaac Okura was really not the wild phase that you want to be out with your own life. Everybody really says that Isaac Okura is one of the biggest men in the game that definitely had one here. They're really all for it once. Isaac Okura hits the first free throw. Pretty new substitution change as right now Jason Tatum checked in for Pritchard as Jalen Brown moves back to shooting guard. And for the Cavaliers, keeps the same players. He hits the second free throw. Celtics lead by three. They have it across here to make that one a slim lead before the end of the first half. Tatum back again to McCall Brogdon. With a layup, now he this time Darius Garland gets a foul. And McCall Brogdon will head to the free throw line shooting two. They're everywhere. The foul has been not been turning out really well at this point. You can't just really get over this. You don't want that one to get in the way. And right now, the free throw's coming up for McCall Brogdon with only 39 seconds. First free throw went off the mark. First last college of this game, he only has made up on a one of his better plays. It is all-time Atlantic Coast Conference Player of the Year on the direction here for under Tony Bennett. As a senior, he was a consensus first team to play with the Virginia University of Virginia before he won his sixth man of the year. But now, he won big, his sixth man of the year in 2023. That's what everybody knows of him. We call him Brogdon. Without playing with the Indiana Pacers, he knows he could do that. Everybody says you've got to give him a call. He's the better man to deliver it. Allen, are you kidding me? He made that one one hand dump down. And Garland with the assist. I guess that pass worked out for him. He got a great open run. Now here's Robert Williams back again to Brogdon. Jalen Brown up for the three. He is killer. Made a three pointer. He has nine. All he's saying now, Jalen Brown is really up for the challenge. Mitchell, over Brown. Good D here, as right now, Williams has his third rebound. And it will close it off with the first half of 31-26 run. 
McCollum Brogdon back to Brown. Three seconds to go. Brown with a buzz beater, and it will not count. So that will end the first half of the game, 31 to 26. Please stand by for the halftime show as we are coming up underway. Now it's time to send you on to the court side. David, who do you have? Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Oh, great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, there, David. Thank you. See you all later for the third quarter. After this, it's a 2K Sports halftime show. Hello, guys. Me and Me Phone and Son of Peace are here at the 2K Sports halftime show. Let's have a run with the first take of the Cavs and Celtics. It's a great start to be here as right now, Darius Garland has a close team in the range here. They are trying to make an answer back in game four to tie the series. 31 and 26 is the score. Let's start up with you, Mifon. Your take for the Celtics. Well, Celtics may be a lucky team to get there in the front, but they may say that it's very tough to be honored if they want to get it all. Hopefully they might be coming in to do it again. And now for you, dear son of peace, for the Cavaliers. They may seem to be honored out there because they're looking for another way to try to save the day. They were close range out there, but they're really up to a authentic run. Hoping there might be another way that can try to save it off and go with the pressuring rebound. They never got a block, but hopefully an application, the second half, will come in. They are need to push. That's the move. And that will do it for the halftime show. Now I'll send you back down to paintbrush, along with the 2K of OJ and Ball Round Pen. See you all later, folks, for the post-game show. Let them know we are back at Cavaliers of the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. We're about to start for the third quarter. You always say that Jalen Brown is one of the biggest players I've ever done before. His long career is definitely a successful range. I know what everybody wants about. JB. How could you ever call that one here to this Jalen Brown? If you always know the shooting guard position can never do that. They're really on the top star. Yeah, I got to agree with you because they really are saying that Jalen Brown really has it all. Hopefully on that one, they might give it another try. Here are the starting boots for Cavs as we're all set to go for the third quarter. Jared Allen is with, with the Robert Williams. And across the other side, we have is Darius Garland and Marcus Smart. Jason Tatum coming in here for Isaac Cora. And around the other side, we have one here, and they are about to be bringing on the other side of the run. We have his Jason Tatum on Ice with Coro, and Al Horford on Evan Mobley, and Donovan Mitchell with Jalen Brown. Now, here's Tatum. Scross move, find smart, and three for Brown. He got it! That makes it a 12 point score for Jalen Brown. Oh man, I don't know what Jalen Brown does. If Jason Tatum was one of the biggest, he'd be a break. Oh, I don't know about picking the break here, but you don't have to give up any mind for Jalen Brown. You don't have to give a call out. If you, if you said give me a break, you'll be out here to beat up him. Now, oh, what is that? Are you just saying that you're going to give me a veto? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all for your lifetime. You give that one Jalen Brown, you always gotta give him a deny. Jason Tatum with a two, that will enter in for another two point bucket score. He has 11, and Jalen Brown with the assist. Here's Garland, he will have the range on the outside, finds a Isaac Okura, and now again to Darius Garland. Now Mitchell, on Brown. Getting a little bit of crossover in here, around him, solid defense on Robert Williams. Watching from the line, Jalen Brown and Smart. Right towards the wing on the outside of the zone. Now finds Brown. Just crossing the move. Bounce pass to Tata. In the zone! Gets a good roll and Brown with the assist. 13 points for Tatum, and he's got it all tied up. Oh, you have to do that one here for Tatum. From University of Duke, he's a veteran. And the offensive fouls picked up on Darius Starland. That's his second personal, and now it changes over to Boston Ball. Now Grant Williams and Mike Muscala are checked in for Robert Williams and Al Warford. 
the Cavaliers are also making new changes as Evan Mobley's checked out as Wade's checked in. Following along with CD Osman, checking in for Isaac Okoro, and finally Karis LeVert of Donovan Mitchell. Now White gives it over again to Tatum. Now over again to Smart. Fade a shot. Back again to Tatum. With the finish roll, that's good. Jason Tatum has 15 points. Extension of the run with 20. 22. Trying to leave the mark up in the run, and Osband finishes and draws in. They're back down by 10. Give the run up if you can. You really can't just say that City Osband really have that much coverage to get up to get it out of here. They were really all into that one. Now Mike Muscala again to Tatum, bounce passes to Williams. Williams swings a pass to Mike Muscala. Over inside, around Allen, and he got a good room to get right around here near the baseline. And he finally has a second bucket. Well, it's tough now because Mike Muscala was really there. I don't know what you have to tell him, but it's definitely when you get it over. Harris LeBert has another two-point bucket score. A lot of field goal percentage in between the first and second half. They all seem to be doing this one again. they got to get that one up there. Back to Tatum. Over Osman. And good. Jason Tatum has 17 buckets score after Mike Muscala's assist. They're all over this now. Tatum really does have it all. You've got to give him another room to go with another two-point score. If he has it high enough, get it all. Harry Slavert! Missed the three. Way, way too high. And Allen, back again. Osmond for three! No good. Another miss by Cleveland Cavs. Now again to Derek White. Two minutes to go in the third period at 44-32 lead. Bounce pass to Tatum. Tatum trying to look it over again and finds Mike Muscala. Already way open and now it's a third bucket for Mike Muscala. Jason Tatum with the assist. Cleveland trailing by 14. Levert over again to Osman. Trying to find a gap in between a defender and offender. On Carlin on Smart. Down to five on the shot clock, and Carlin will have to forget about it with the pass and go with the finish roll. They say, Paris, it merely just saying to you, I'm going to do this. And that's what he does. Well, that really has to be settled down here with the score. If you really have anybody else settled down there, nobody's open, well, get it out of here. They really want it out of all. That tough one has been out there for a long, long time. You never really noticed that he was going to get there that through. Timeout call by Cleveland, by by Boston Celtics. They will have a timeout discussion here with down by with the lead by 12. We're under 90 seconds to go, and this one can never be stopped by their team run. Always say Celtic and Cavs always work on the run since 2018. The NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by. Your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. Mountain Dew. Do the do. And by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. for the new change up here as right now four players are checked out. Now it's Sam Hauser, Grant Williams, McCollum Brockett, and, and Peyton Pritchard checked in. Now we have is another four players in the Cavaliers, Green, Rubio, Osmond, and Wader checked in. Here's Tatum with the finish and scoop. Oh, you got to believe him. Jason Tatum has 19 and Pritchard with the assist. Yeah, everybody has to call for him because Tatum is nowhere near. Now Green finds LeVert. LeVert gives it back to Rubio. Over in the corner, the elbow is Wade. Coming up by Williams. Finds a pass. LeVert finishes the drive. Up and over the layup and has that shot inside. The offense got a little bit of a struggle out there. Now everybody's uh, looking for that one here, but I don't think there may not be anybody. Now Pritchard gives it off to Jason Tatum. 
Maeda passes to Pritchard. Open look. Two for Bacall Brogdon. No good here. 30 seconds to go in the third period. Rubio on Pritchard. Looking it over. Trying to get a run on. It's stolen by Sam Hauser. Now Tatum for the finish. Got a little slum on this one, but Tatum has the finish. And Sam Hauser with the assist. Tatum's got 21 points this game. The 50 to 36 run. Now LeBert on a cross motion. Over Sam. No good. And so it ends the third quarter. The extension is up by 14. What an amazing run to have that start for the Celtics to finish it up. And now it all comes down to the final quarter. We'll be right back after your bits. Beyond Asylum Pride, the unfinished business is where it's going to take to get it done. And let's have a quick moment for your time to find out the assist of the game presented by St. Paul. Now, I was definitely seeing it, what's going on right now, because there was one way that they could definitely pass it off to Tatum, and that was the last one that did happen. He was always going to make the drive out of it, and you really can't just say that it's going to be happening like that. It all does happen now, it's going to be very that tough and not if you can. We reach down to the final quarter in Game 4, as right now, the 50-36 to 36 comes up with the run. Here for the start from McCollum Brockton. He's coming up here on Darius Garland. Brown is on Donovan Mitchell. Then Robert Williams on Al Jared Allen. Then from the other side we have is Grant Williams. Al Warfare on Evan Mobley and Tatum on Isaac Okoro. Looks back again. Ball hit. And he went out of bounds. That turns it over to the Cavs ball. They are coming back down. Well, everybody really wants it. They want to get back into it. Yeah, I, I don't know what the aggressive comes in for Joe Mazzula. Well, they're all saying it. That the Fletcher would have been turned off. He did touch it last. Now here's Mitchell. Finds the inside. Find Mowley. Mowley on the run. Trying to give it over again to Okora. Okora! Horford. That's his first foul and the first team foul releases on Boston. Now we're shooting two. I see the Coro trying to get the two pointer get back in the run. The action is not really for the seats. I don't know what to say about this, but they're really on adoption, bro. Right now the Cavaliers are hanging on a free for a line for two. Right now they're trying to get back into the foul down by ten. He missed the first free throw. Now, Smart, he will check in for a bit home Brogdon. Now back to the starting five. And he makes the second free throw. So only one out of two free throws is good for him. And now, on the other side, comes in down toward the lane. Here's Brown. He has some time to get some a little bit more room to have the offense down. And Horford gives it over again to Marcus Smart. Looks toward in the middle. Jalen Brown over Mitchell and good. Jalen Brown has 14 and Smart with the assist. There, everyone calls for him. Jalen Brown already on a stumble run. I don't know what to say, but this is not what everybody does. Isaiah Koran and Jason Tatum. Tatum watching him in. Mitchell for three. Misses it off the iron and it goes right toward back to Brown. Now he gives it off to Smart. Trying to make a new move here in a connection feed. This is off to Williams. Fade a shot. Smart gives it back over to Brown. Down to six on the shot clock. Looks it over to finish it, and good. Jalen Brown adding another two. He has 16 points. I don't know what you can call it for that, but Jalen Brown really done it all. And now a great replay here by Mobile One. That will be another 2K drive for Boston. Mitchell gives the pass over to Isaac Okoro with only 4.12 to go. 
turn around it, and he's fouled. So Robert Williams with his first personal. And your second team foul for Boston. Stop the clock at 4.10 to go, and Isaac McCora will have another chance at the free throw line shooting two. Here he's trying to keep that one over. He really got to get this one done. But however, it really has starting to get going strong. They just got to like find another way to get in it. He didn't make the first free throw. Everybody's having a hard time. Keep your arch with you. If you don't have the right timing to do this, you, you gotta like try to like do something else. There's everybody all around you. The company out there, they just may have a lot of hard time to get the free throw done. He makes the second free throw. Here's Tatum. He makes his way down towards his line, now into the offline side. Now gives off to Al Horford. And pass stolen! And a corner back to Garland! Now closing in the gap! He finds Highland and way off the mark. Al Yoop went unsuccessful. Brown for a three! Right up and look, no good. Holy had a rebound and now with only three for you to go. Okoro passes again to Garland, and now it's over again to Allen. Horford watching on him, shoots over Horford, and a good defensive rebound for the Robert Williams. Jason Tatum on the marking line. He moves back to Smart. Gets back to Smart, now finds Brown. Brown swing it over. Tatum on the run, and rolls in and out. 3.08 to go in the fourth quarter. Trying to look for another attacker to make a screen. Mitchell trying to go in the paint to finish it. And good! Man, he's on a loose shade. They're down by 14. And they are still looking for the run. The offense may not be that simple enough because Donovan Mitchell really had that one to finish up at the driving angle. I don't know if this would have been causing like that, but if you have that chance, then you got to get some help. Three seconds is called on Al Horford, and now it changes over to Cavaliers ball. That's another turnover for the Boston Celtics. Yeah, everybody's having a difficult time. Nobody can't find anybody. They've got to get over this. Mitchell, up at the two over Brown. Hit off the rim. Al Horford gives it off to Brown. Brown tries to give it back to Smart. That's broken. And he went out of bounds. Now it changes over to Cavs ball. 2.17 to go in the fourth quarter. Looking for a chance to close the gap. We're just getting to 10 points, regaining the lead. And Mitchell! Whoa! It's making a slam dunk. Makes him a biggest one of assaults again. Nobody has ever seen what Donovan Mitchell does. If he slammed that down, he would have the right choice to get an option. They're already been falling it out. The timeout has been called by Boston Celtics with 2 or 9 to go. They are down by 12. Stay tuned for tomorrow night's game as we have the Lakers and the Nuggets. Standing by will be the two of Son of Beast and Mipo. Now for a quick update, we'll have a little up higher on this priority to find out who will have the bet to make the win game four. What are your thoughts here, guys? Well, there might be one way that can find another one to go for in between. Now, I got a personal little feeling because the Celtics saying that the Nuggets are really that good team. I'm thinking there is a one way that we can call for. The Nuggets should get another one to make the win out of it to have the extension up for a three to one series. It might be tough though, but it may not be enough to get that one a right call. Well, I have my place bet here is on is on the Nuggets here too, but the other guys may have been saying that Nikola Jokic is one of the biggest men here in the game. I have no good clear surveillance, but it might be a tough one to be keeping it going. I'll have to keep an eye on that one here. Back to you, dear all. All right, guys, thank you so much, Joe. Now with the start of the New Balance Player of the Game for Game Four, and it goes to Marcus Smart. Smart is a potential worker here. He really done all of his own. Whenever you say Marcus Smart, he really does it all. 
It's the better one to have as own professional goal and maintain its run. It's better to keep it at last. I know that Marcus Smart does it. They really say you can count it. Robert Williams, foul on Allen. And this is not going to be an intense call, and this one is not going to be a successful day for the Cavaliers to tie the series. Robert Williams with the free throw line shooting two, and he Allen with the first personal foul. There's second team fouls picked up on Cleveland with 2.03 to go. Oh, uh, not a surveillance on that one here. Robert Williams is trying to, like, lead the muscle to it. I want this badly. Williams hits, misses the first free throw. That's what nobody wants to do. If you're going to be trying to get in the center of the guard, you don't want to take offense to this one. And he hits the second free throw. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, and they are trying to get an answer back right away. Donovan Mitchell on Jalen Brown. Move the mark. Good ditty by Robert Williams. He has a great rebounding hustle out there. Robert Williams has seven rebounds in the game. Well, they're nowhere off better. They really are giving up the run. Tatum. Pass again to Williams. Now find Smart. Smart passes. Brown for three. Good. What a rage out. And Jalen Brown has 19. Close to 21 points. All they say now, Jalen Brown never really gets that one too complicated. How well does he do? Nobody gives a no. Okoro on Tatum. Trying to leave the gap open and now Mobley back to Mitchell. Screen for Allen for the two. That off their inbound and now it's Williams back to Warford. Well, they have a hard time to make that one a lead. They always need that one to run, but the time is winding down. Williams gives a pass over to Jason Tatum. Tatum back again to Smart. Rolls over to Garland. The two-pointer misses. Mobley with the rebound and now Garland on the attack. Go right to the rim and he's fouled. Robert Williams with his second personal. And that's their 13th foul for Boston. 45 seconds to go. And Darius Garland may have a choice to do two, yet make two free throws. And they're trying to keep it the attacking going. They're not really well to be a fanatic on the run. I don't know what you can do, but just try to like keep it out of the right sight. Just keep it slow, do the right thing as you can, and don't leave it out to them. Garland missed the first free throw. What nobody wants to do for Darius Garland, that's what he wants to do. Now for the new substitution, right now four players are checked, five players checked out. And now another player kept checking in for the Cavaliers, all five players checked out as Garland moves over the shooting guard. Neto Green, Wade, and Karis LeVert, and Robin Lopez are checked in. Good for the second free throw. Here for the last five as they're on the court. Now Pritchard will try to give up the run and now finds Sam Hauser. Gives it off to Blake Griffin. Made the shot. Gives it back to Pritchard. Pritchard over Neto. The drive is off. Neto with the first rebound. Keeping an eye on the run. Here's Green on the outside. Moving around again. Over with the shot. That two-pointer misses. And looks like that they will close it off for the fourth game in the postseason in the conference finals. Yeah, everybody say Boston Celtics, I think their next team should get into the finals now. And that will do. Your final score is a 58-43 Boston lead. They now extend a 3 to 1. And now to close it off, we have is David Aldrich. Let's see what he has to say for his part of the game. Who do you have, David? Thanks very much, Marcus. It is obvious you never mind sacrificing your body to make a big play. How do you lay it on the line physically? Uh, 
it's just really, you know, uh, of course, my teammates, you know, I lead by example. You know, they see the energy I bring, and I just hope it rubs off on those guys. You certainly did tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you very much. And now we'll wrap it up for the Eastern Conference Finals of the Cavs and the Celtics. This has been a presentation of the Eastern Conference of 2K Sports. Paint Press, along with OJ and Ball Round Pen. We wish you all a have a great evening. All right, Paint Press, thank you very much. And this time, it is an extension run for Boston. They have a 3-1 and one series of the game. Two times with the win here in Boston in their home game and one for the away game here, as right now their home team for the Cavaliers have already won once in game three for the last one. Here's how you give it the total statistics. 865% and 56% for the field goals and three-pointers for Boston Celtics. The Cavaliers only had 75% of the free throw line. Fast break and points in paint was 828 for Boston, and two second chance points for Cleveland, along with bench points for 18. Then assist was 23 for Boston Celtics. Offensive rebounds was pretty up here for 8 on Cleveland Cats, but defensive rebound got in the way. It was 19 for the Boston Celtics. The steals put up 4 and blocks were made. Boston had 5 turnovers, 9 points up. Stayed the same thing. 14 fouls were given for Cleveland Cats. 4 dunks were performed for Cleveland Cats. 17 biggest lead and their time position was 12.45. So I guess that pretty much means that it's pretty much it. Yeah, that's what we all count for. And now, the lucky team wins again. If they win again, then they're going to be heading in to the, to the NBA Finals for another part on 2K23. Yeah, that's right. We're the season finale. That will be the next one to keep your eyes peeled on. But in that case, there might be one way that we can do it, do it for all of the Pride Week. Now let's finish off with three star players of the game in game four. You take it away, Son of Beast. All right, thank you very much. As right now, we start off with number three first. We're all giving the run to Donovan Mitchell with eight points and only one dunk was performed. That was four out of 12 field goals for Donovan Mitchell. Now for me, phone for number two. Number two gives out to Jalen Brown. 19 points, two assists, one steal, and 23 performance run. He's really perfect successful here for three three-pointers of the game. Eight out of ten field goals are not that tricky at all. He's making it easy, a piece of cake, to do it again. Now for the number one player, you stand alone. Who do you have? Well, I'm going to give this one off. Jason Tatum is the biggest player of the game. 21 points, three rebounds, one assist, and a 23 performance run. He only had made one three-pointer, but all of his field goal range was 10 out of 12 field goals. He was excellent. And for the veteran of Duke, he definitely beat against Donovan Mitchell from the University of Louisville. And that was one of the part that he never get away with this. That's because of Donovan Mitchell, really stand out, but Jason Tatum, higher aggressive than that. Well, that being said, thank you all tuning in for joining us for the Eastern Conference Finals. And stay tuned for tomorrow night's game, plus the Stanley Cup Conference Finals in Game 5. If you keep your eyes peeled to that, you will see how well they do. Well, that's for being said right now. Thanks for joining with us, and peace out everyone for a while as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports Style. This is me, Phone 4, along with Son of Beast. We appreciate you all to have a, have a great evening and get home safely. See you next time for the Lakers and Nuggets at Crypto.com Arena. Bye-bye now. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.